Hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So I'm actually making a video now instead of a stream because I am going to make a review of this ship which is the Crate Mark II which is one of my favourite ships in the game so far. I've, I haven't looked at it much. I haven't taken it out of the hangar yet even. I've just vaguely gone over it. Okay so the Crate is a medium largish size ship which can cost around 45 million credits which is actually very decent for what you get it's less than a python and honestly i think i prefer it to the python i mean some people prefer the python other people prefer this i just like it for everything so far from the looks and i've looked at a tiny bit of outfitting but that's pretty much it and um yeah so this is the crate so, as you can see, the cockpit has a really good view. Like, you can see, you pretty much have 360 degrees. So these front bits do give you a little bit of a blind spot. That's okay, I'll show you what's so cool about those in a few minutes. After I outfit this thing, I'm gonna try and get it ready for deep core mining soon. But for the moment, I'm just going over it. Okay, so firstly we have the exterior of the ship, and it is pretty beautiful, honestly, I have to say. It's a little bit strange, it's got these antennas on the sides, um, and also it's flat-topped, which is pretty weird, but I like it. Also there are the huge engine intakes there, and also there's the triple cockpit here. So this ship actually can fit, has two multi-crew seats, and they each sort of have their own mini little cockpit, which is sort of cool. I like that about it. And there's the pilot's cockpit. As you can see, it's got very good vision. And then we have some of the maneuvering thrusts around here. And if we go around to the side, you can see the landing gear under there. And also around at the back, we have these sort of fin things. And then also these huge engines, like giant, and there's some sort of access door there. I looked at the trailer and that actually like, there's like a, the, the whole thing just moves down so that people can get in. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the exterior summed up. There's a little bit of a cooler in between these rings here. And honestly, I really like the design of it. So if I head back into the ship, if I know, I'm going to take a look at the interior of the ship now. So here we have the front cockpit, which is very spacious, very, it's got lots, it's, again, it's got a lot of view. And this is the main compartments of the ship. One thing I noticed, coffee machine over there on the right. I don't know if you can see it. I don't like the colour, that's the one thing that I don't like in here. The greenish colour is, mm, like, uh, I don't know. Also, there's a bit of a bobblehead there of the original crate on the left, I found out earlier. And there's me, and also here's the views from the two cockpit seats, co-pilot seats. So it's pretty, it's a really spacious ship. It can, it, it's, it's cockpit is really nice. Also, there's a, um... There's some sort of, like, panel back there, with some stuff. Um, I think it's like a, it looks like a diagram of the ship. I just want space legs already. But if I look at the outfitting of the ship, this is pretty nice so far. So we have two medium hard points, which are, which are really cool, because you can actually see them as they pop down from the front of the cockpit. I'll show you that later. And then also up at the top we have three empty large hard points, which is just amazing. Like that amount of stuff will really shred something. Um, I think I just want to get something on here. I'll go for a. I'll go for a two F multi cannon. I just want to put something bigger on these small slots that I can show you them as they pop down. I'll take it out of the station in a minute and show you. And this is my first time taking one out of the station. Like, I have not used this ship at all. And it has proven to be r really cool so far. I know, I barely looked at it, but still. Apparently it's good for deep core mining. 
and big gatling's nice okay so it's got four utilities so that's fine core internals so seven class seven power plant that's pretty good six thrusters six e thrusters that's again good for speed six thrusters it reminds me of the that that sort of six symbol reminds me of the thrusters on each of the engine pods at the back funny thing um 5e e frame shift drive eh, same as the asp 4e e life support 7e e power distributor nice power dis distributor 6e e sensors and a 5c fuel tank that is very cool and optional internals we have two size six mounts two f size five one size four two size three one size two and two size ones oh no one, one size one sorry that one's a that's that's an approach seat yeah there it is okay um so yeah that's it so far also the other cool thing about the crate is that it can take a fighter bay i believe um i don't think i can buy one here but it can take a fighter bay which is really cool So, I think I might just, I think I'm just going to take it out of the station real quick. This is going to be my first time flying it. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to crash. The rebuy on this thing is 2 million. 2.2 two two million. Which is, hmm. <laughs> so, I guess let's just take it up. Whoa, that's a nice thruster noise. Nice speed as well. I need to be careful with this. It's quite a big ship. Whoa! Boost noise. Okay, hold on, I'll just do that again for you. The boost noise on this ship is amazing. There's that. That just sounds great. Maneuverability is good. Feels a little. It handles a little bit like the Asp. It's not the. It's it's quite maneuverable. It's more maneuverable than the Python, definitely. I can feel that. But it's um it's less maneuverable than some other ships of its class. But that's fine because it can take a fighter bay, which is pretty overpowered. Look, there's the fighter bay, and then there's the cargo scoop. It's pretty cool. I have to say, I love this for its vice bay. I love shit. I loved ship deployed vices. Ship launched. Oh, that boost noise. Jeez, and by the time the boost's finished, it's back up to full power. This thing can just keep on boosting. It does not stop. Okay, now let's stop before we get too far away from the station. Wait. Okay, I just wanna... This is what I love about this ship. That is cool. That is so cool. Just seeing those guns pop down and activate. It is so cool though, I, I just love the design of it. And now we can sort of have a look at the bottom of the ship now that we're out. And it looks pretty cool. There's some funny things here. Assume they're like engine couplers or something. And yeah, so even though these are pea shooters compared to its other guns, from the cockpit these just look awesome. Look at the size of them. They're giant.
That's cool. So the fur the more you shoot, the further that thing comes out. But anyways, it's really nice to have some weapons on a ship like this. Listen to that noise, though. With full power engines, it doesn't seem like it can stop boosting, really. Yeah, I'm going to slow down now before I crash. I know, sis. Anyways, um... I love the reverse thrusters there, they look really cool. Oh yeah. Almost forgot to request dark. Oh. There we go. Jeez, this... I feel like the accent on that person is... Feels a little bit like computer generated but also real. It's pretty creepy. Is that eight? Okay. So this thing can land on medium landing pads, which is great. It doesn't need a giant one to land. Unlike certain other ships. <coughs> Type 7. <coughs> um, so yeah, it can land at outposts. A nice touchdown. So that is pretty much the the crate. I'm going to be using it over the next couple of episodes for deep core mining, which will be really cool to see. I wonder how much we'll get from it and how well this ship will do with it. But honestly, so far, it's one of my favourite ships I've ever flown. It just looks amazing, and I can't wait to try out the fighter bay as well. So, that is it for this episode. I'm sorry it's a bit short, but just wanted to throw this together, show you the ship, show you around it. And I'd highly recommend this. I mean, you might prefer the Python. Also, it has, there's another crate as well, the Crate Phantom. Um, that can't equip a fire bay, and it has smaller internals, but it's a bit cheaper, and it's supposed to be more maneuverable. But, yeah, it looks really cool. Also, wait, before I go, is that? Ooh, that's cool. There's a bit of a, um, step up into the ship there. That's cool. Anyways, so that is the crate. Very cool ship. I cannot wait to use it more. So I will see you guys in the next stream. <laughs>